One immediate consequence of the modularity assumption that's very useful is the truncated factorization. So first recall the Bayesian network factorization, which says that we can factorize the joint distribution as the product over i of factors, which are p of xi given the parents of xi. Then the truncated factorization takes this joint distribution and tells us information about interventional distributions when we intervene on some set of variables s. And what it does is it changes this product over i to just a product over i that are not in the intervention set. This is if the vector x is consistent with the intervention, and otherwise this probability is zero if x is inconsistent with the intervention. So this follows directly from the modularity assumption. To see why this is called the truncated factorization, let's go back a bit. So here was the Bayesian network factorization. And then to get to the truncated factorization, what we do is we truncate all the terms i in s. Right, so all of the terms that correspond to variables that were intervened on, variables in s, they all get truncated from this factorization. That's because all of those terms become 1 if x is consistent with the intervention, and at least one of them becomes 0 if x is not consistent with the intervention, and that would make the whole expression 0. Okay, so that's the justification for the truncated factorization, and now let's see what consequences this gives us right away. So say we wanted to identify the causal estimand y given do t, given that this is the causal graph here, where x is a confounder of the effect of t on y. The first step is to use the Bayesian network factorization and just write down that factorization. So x has no parents, so we just get p of x. The parent of t is x, so we get p of t given x. And then similarly, y has two parents, so we get p of y given t comma x. Then we apply the truncated factorization. Here, because we've intervened on t, the factor for t gets removed, gets truncated. And now all that's left is to marginalize out x. So we've identified p of y given do t as this statistical estimand on the bottom right here using just this truncated factorization and the causal graph. And this only took us three steps.